at the Rovaniemi train station in Finland and we're about to get picked up to go stay in a hotel that is made completely out of ice. Ah, crazy! The bus to the snow hotel is about 30 minutes. It is a nice giant bus with a bathroom, which is awesome. And it is free if you're staying at the hotel overnight. You just have to schedule it with them. made it to Lapland and we just checked into the Arctic Snow Hotel where we'll be staying tonight but sunlight is at a premium in Lapland so we're gonna take advantage of that and do a snowshoeing excursion before we look around the ice hotel. As you can see there's plenty of snow to do that in. <laughs> and just like that we're snowshoeing above the Arctic Circle in Finland. <laughs> After climbing to the top of the hill, we came across this awesome little campfire. Got some reindeer to cover the wooden seats. You're welcome. So this is the plastic version, but it looks like a traditional Finnish cup made out of wood. Thank you. Hot berry juice. Cheers. Roast up some sausages. <laughs> Our sausages are cooked, and of course, we got some mustard with it, and I'm excited. Uh -huh. <laughs> So we're headed back to the car now, which I thought would be easier because it is going downhill. But it snowed so much here recently that the snowshoe tracks are gone, so we're forging our own path. Which is pretty difficult actually. This is good exercise. We have a jam pack schedule today. We just got back from snowshoeing. Now we're about to go on the overnight tour of the ice hotel where we're staying tonight. Snow Hotel is open from December 15th to March 31st. If you don't want to stay at the hotel, you can arrange a day tour to visit the hotel rooms, ice bar, and restaurant. Prices start at 49 euros, and that includes transfer from Rovan Yemi. So staying in an ice hotel is a little bit complicated than a normal hotel. There are different places that you can come and warm up and stash your stuff. So this is the locker room where we each got an individual key for lockers because there are no actual doors on the ice hotel room. So we can come and safely put our valuables in there and lock them up. Keep these around me neck so I don't lose them. This room holds all of the sleeping bags that you're gonna need for the night. They recommend you get it right before you go to bed just so it's nice and warm in here. There's also a couple bunk beds in here in case it just gets way too cold. You can come in here and do some sleeping. Snow hotel rooms don't actually have doors. They just have little curtains and then there's a do not disturb sign that you can put out. No one really actually stores anything in the rooms or hangs out in the rooms until they go to sleep in them because it's cold. Each room was individually designed by an artist so they're all unique. They leave them open so you can kind of go explore each of the rooms and see all of the cool designs. So let's go explore some. I've never been in other people's hotel rooms before. <laughs> This one's like graffiti in the city. They made a giant spray can. Look at that. We heart graffiti. It's amazing. A double room here. Wow. That's cool. Look at the pumpkins. Cow head. And snake. These are wild. They get very creative with these carvings. The place is also a maze. <laughs> We're yeah. just kind of exploring. There's a lot of signs though, but like all the hallways look the same because they're all made of snow. Wow, look at this. Big old bed. Whoa. This one is wild. I can't believe how big this thing is. And we somehow found our room. So let's give you a tour, shall we? They gave us the Donnie Darko room. <laughs> our snowshoe guide said this room was a little bit scary. And that's why. <laughs> so as we said, everything is made of snow and ice, except for the bed, so that's good. There is, you know, obviously this big ice block right here, so it looks cool, but 
real mattress, not ice. <laughs> they have this blanket over top of the mattress, but you sleep on top of that. Um, they have pillows. And then you go get the sleeping bags that we mentioned earlier and you sleep on top of those. Those sleeping bags are rated for the dead of winter, so they should be good. Also in this room, there is one plug and a light switch, so you can actually charge some things if you don't mind them getting very, very cold during the night. <laughs> and that's about it. The rooms are real simple. <laughs> Like Kelly said though, you don't spend much time in here because it's freaking cold. So we're just gonna be sleeping in here. So behind me they have a sauna that everyone can use together. And this is also where the showers are if you're staying at the hotel. But we booked a private sauna. All right, our next thing we're doing is a sauna experience and it is a snow sauna. Now you get an hour and a half and you have to pre-book this. This is an extra charge. There's another public sauna that everybody can use, but this is a whole thing. You book your time and then you get this private sauna room with a shower, finished sauna. You can put all your stuff in here and then you go to a sauna made of snow. It's made of snow. It's like the snow hotel, but it's a sauna. I don't know. And then you have your own private jacuzzi where you can have a little glass of bubbly. That sounds amazing. That's good because I'm getting pretty cold. It's definitely yes. above the Arctic Circle yeah. and evident. Here we go. They had some loner hats. I think this one's pretty sweet. <laughs> Let's go to the snow sauna. Never thought I'd be saying that. It's chilly. We're in a sauna and it's made of snow. Yeah. This complete, whole thing is complete ice. This is snow and ice. Oh my god, it's so cold. Ah! There we go. Who what? Where are you? <laughs> I can see his shadow. <laughs> can you see me? I can't even see my own feet. Uh they told us to stay in here for about 10 minutes, so the clock is on. Out of the jacuzzi. Yeah. Hey. Is it really warm? I wish I could spend the night in here. <laughs> <laughs> you can order some drinks to have with you in the jacuzzi. Cheers. So we're wrapping up our time in the snow sauna with a regular sauna. And that's gonna be just delightful. Yeah, definitely <laughs> relaxed right now, huh? I think we have about 22 minutes left, so it's plenty of time. So outside they have all these snow sculptures, and at night they're all lit up. Uh, and my nose is very cold. Kevin found a sledding hill, so of course that's what he's doing right now. <laughs> <laughs> until I sit here for too long and then I'm gonna get too cold. Table's made of ice, chair's made of ice. So there's a set menu here at this restaurant. First course is just a ride. It is creamy mushroom soup served with a little bit of bread. We also ordered some hot berry juice, which is the same hot berry juice that we had today snowshoeing. Uh, but tonight we decided to get it with some alcohol. I really enjoyed the hot berry juice, so hot berry juice, that alcohol should be good. I was right. <laughs> <laughs> They ask you to pre-order your entrees. We got a salmon and an elk, and they just came out. There's four choices, and also if you're a vegetarian, they have a choice for that. This is a three-course meal, and at the end, you get some raspberry cake, and it comes out on an ice plate. <laughs> it's shaped like a snowflake. Yeah, what an ice party. I hear the music. I think it's right there. Whoa. We went to the ice restaurant, now we're going to the ice bar. All the glasses here in this bar are made of ice, and obviously they can't be reused. So after you drink your drink, you dispose of it in a very unique way. <laughs> Yay! 
Yes. Yeah. Kevin got Bailey's, which he's definitely sipping on. I will say he asked for whiskey first, but they ran out right now, so. I couldn't decide what to get, and then I saw that they had Lincolnberry vodka, which Lincolnberry is a big thing up here, so I thought that would be a good idea. It's very slippery, so you have to hold it with two hands. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> all the broken ice from all the drinks down here. All right. Uh, oh my gosh. Time has come to go to bed. So we're gonna go grab our sleeping bags and settle in for the night. It is supposed to get down into the single digits, but I think inside the ice cave, it's gonna be a little warmer. All right, getting our sleeping bag set up with our sleeping bag liners. Try to stay as warm as possible. It's gonna be fun. I'm sure it's gonna be a night that we will not forget anytime soon. Home for the night. Wish us luck. Time to get up. No. It's time. No. We've made it back to the warmth of the reception and got some coffees. I can't believe we did it. It was very, very cold, but inside the sleeping bag, it was super warm. Like I slept in just my underwear. I didn't have anything else on. And that's insane. Those sleeping bags work very, very well. I was actually kind of dreading the sleeping part of yesterday, but we went in and once your body heat warms up the bag, like I was so super toasty. I don't think I've ever slept that well in a sleeping bag in my life. No. I wasn't cold at all. Of course, the only skin I had showing was my nose because I had... <laughs> but I'm pleasantly surprised. Sleeping wasn't that bad. Now it's time for some coffee and breakfast and all of the things. So the spread for the buffet looks really good. You know, a ton of different food. There's all the breakfast staples, plus some finished specialties like lamb meatballs and salmon loaf, plus the coffee is limited, which is a mega bonus. So it is almost time to check out, but there is one last thing we have to see before we go. They have reindeer! <laughs> We had a fantastic time in the snow hotel. I can't believe how awesome it was, but we're gonna end this video here, but stay tuned and make sure you subscribe because we have another unique accommodation for tonight. But for right now, this is Kelly from the Awkward Tourists. Peace out. I've officially been above the Arctic Circle. We're at the Roven Yemi. We're at the Roven Yemi. Ch I'm probably gonna die here in the snow because I've never snowshoed before, but at least it's pretty. Oh. <laughs> Did you slip? It's very slick. <laughs> Ha ha ha.